Wolf. Good shot. Yeah, listen to the applause. Yeah, they've come to see a match. They want to see one. And it's now Mark Williams who's finally in first in a frame. And still hasn't had much time on this table, has he? Eight. To be fair. No, well, his highest break is nine so far. But as you said, you know, he's got such a great attitude. Now we'll sense, OK, this is now my turn to make something happen. And he's long experience in the game. He knows it's not over at 3-0, not at all. No. Coming up in a few weeks' time to the 25th anniversary of that respot black finish to the Masters when he beat Stephen Hendry at Burnley Conference Centre. Amazing. A quarter of a century ago. And that really, I think, defined him and his character, the fact he could stand 16. up to that. Nearly 3,000 people. One of the huge events. He hadn't won that many tournaments by then either. So it was kind of new to him. And he was playing then the greatest ever, Hendry. Yeah, nobody will ever forget Hendry missing the black to the middle, the final black. Such pressure. And what a final that was. And to be still going strong. <laughs> All this time later. 24. Incredible. Twenty-five. Yes, I mean, it looked like he was falling away, but as everyone knows, came back in extraordinary fashion to win the third world title back in 2018. And right now he's number eight in the world, having another pretty consistent campaign. Yeah, it's not an easy table, this, having to play the tough red 30. to the middle. It's a nicely spread, but difficult to get onto. 33. That's a good recovery shot, though. Overscrewed it slightly. Now, oh, it may play the cannon to the red above the black. Try and hold for the red to the left corner. 30. Well played. Choice of two reds now. Forty. Yep. And uh, five reds. Five. How have I missed that one? Well, I was waiting, Joe. <laughs> you normally, normally. <laughs> yeah. By now. Yeah. I'm so wrapped up in in Mark Williams and his shots that he's making. I forgot the maximum is on. And he's only in mid two of Forty. them. Tournament play. He made one at the Crucible. It was in the days of the really big additional prize 147,000 plus the high break prize so that was very uh, profitable to say the least more importantly these balls are going in the middle of the pocket and that little cutback that he played a moment ago that's where he could have missed not having table time 49 56. 57. Yeah, just under hit it a little. The frame not safe yet. So although the maximum may be on his mind, this black, all important. 64. Okay. 65. Right in the middle again. A little far for the red to the left corner, I think. 72. The red to the middle. Yes, and the red, either red, will leave Robertson needing snookers. I 
there's any doubt, he's got to play the red to the middle. 73. So he can now go for the maximum. This would be something, wouldn't it? Because he's been completely shut out in the first three frames. And what a response, though, David. What a response. I mean, just to win the frame at one visit. 80. He's good enough. I want to see the maximum now, though. 81. Well, he might try and get top side of the blue here and play that red next to the blue because that's going to be an awkward red. 80. Yeah, he made one at the Crucible 2005 and then again in 2010. 88. In, uh, one of the European Tour events. So he's got two on his CV. 89. Judd Trump, of course, made one at the Scottish Open. About 182 now. 96. Delightful <laughs> shot. So, black for the century. This is already a remarkable break, considering how he was shut out. Completely shut out. But the question is, can he now make the maximum? He's being willed on by this crowd. They gave him great support when he pollied the first ball. 105. Little did they know what might unfold. So, all-important shot here. Does he try and get top side of the blue or this side of the blue? Top side. Needs to keep running. Just enough. 94. Big bounce. Perfect. Well, this is what you call a winter warmer. Seven balls away. Having not had a look in the whole afternoon. One hundred and twenty-two. Could have done with just coming a little further. One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred and twenty-nine. And that's OK. That's the natural angle to come back down for the pink. One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and forty. <laughs> Mr Poole, you're back in to pop this. He'd be the oldest player to make a maximum break. 147. Yeah. Oh, yeah. going in the middle of the pocket. He'd done nothing for three frames. He didn't get a look in. Neil Robertson was playing so well. But Mark Williams steps in and makes a 147. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. What a legend.